Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Swati Gupta, Chartered Accountant. Today in this video, we are going to discuss a very important and quite confusing topic that is whether a particular event is an error or due to change in estimate. Okay, so these are quite close concepts, but let's dive into their definitions and let's see how their treatment is required. Firstly, if, if we talk about error as per end AS8 or you can say IAS8, it tells about that a particular event or particular transaction is taken to be as error when there is failure to use or there has been a misuse of any correct information that was available at that particular point in time. At that relevant point in time when the particular relevant information was available that time if they misused or they failed to use it correctly then this is known as error okay this means that this could have been avoided by simply taking little more careful steps okay now this requires correction correction is required retrospectively Why retrospectively? This means that, for example, uh, today a particular event has been identified and declared as an error. Then any previous periods for which this particular error is impacting needs to be corrected. It needs to be corrected from back dates, that is retrospectively. Okay. Now if you talk about change in estimate. Now estimates are simply approximations. Now, if these approximations are uh, taken and calculated on the basis of the available information. Now, till the time this particular estimation is correct, as per the information available at that point in time, then these are known as correct and not considered as error. Even if they are vastly different from the actuals. Okay, we'll take an example to easy this out. Now, here, this change in estimate impact is required, required prospectively. Whatever impact is there, it's, it has to be taken prospectively and it is not considered as an error. It is not considered as an error. Okay? Please understand this. For example, uh, right now on the current scenario basis, on the current available information basis, you have taken a percentage as a bed debt provision. For example, 5 percentage. Now this is an estimate. Now, if you talk about the actuals, a year later when you really check out how much is the bed debt, you come to know that, okay, we have taken only 5 percent provision for the bed debt, but in actual, it is 25%. Instead of 5%, it is 25%. See, there is so much of difference. It varies uh, uh, far away with a huge difference from the actuals. Still, it will not be considered as an error. It is just a change in estimate. And why so? Because now, if you talk about actuals, the information, the related information has changed. Okay, so it will be corrected. It will be impacted prospectively. That is from today and the periods forward and also it is never considered as an error. Let's take some examples to check whether you have got an understanding correctly or not. Okay. So firstly, if you talk about fraud, for example, if there is fraud, this will be considered as error. This will be considered as an error as per India's 8 or IAS 8 and has to be corrected retrospectively. Corrected retrospectively. Restate retrospectively okay if you talk about if there is any misinterpretation of law this means this means originally correct information was available but uh, the parties the entities failed to use the available correct information failure to use the correct information is also an error okay therefore it will also be termed as an error and needs to be corrected retrospectively 
corrected retrospectively restate the uh, previous figures that have been impacted due to this particular mistake error for example if there is any percentage of provision change there has been taken an estimation now since the information has changed and therefore the estimation the approximation has changed okay it is less by 20 percent if compared to actuals there is a vast difference due to actuals still this particular difference won't be considered as an error and it will continue to be considered as a change in estimate change in estimate and therefore record this okay give if it give its impact prospectively prospectively means that means from the day it has been identified okay and give its impact for the further future years for the upcoming periods if those periods are also impacted for example you have taken as per the financial modeling you have prepared a revenue statements okay for future periods of next five years for example after two years it says that okay the estimation are uh, wrong and it needs to be corrected this means this is change in estimate okay and the other three periods you need to correct it so it is said that please correct it prospectively for the current period as well as for the upcoming future periods if they are impacted by such uh, estimations okay so that's it for our today's video i hope you like it the similar video is also recorded in hindi language all our courses are available in hindi and english both the languages for students and professionals separately okay so please do not forget to check out the description box and download the app see you inside the app we can chat over there and let's see what suits you better this is Fadi Gupta, Channel Accountant.